So what do you do about those teachers that utterly refuse to cooperate? I've had many a teacher of that in my life, and we also used to joke that my dad would come in and meet with the teacher and do his scary voice, which wasn't very loud, it was very quiet. And I want you to understand something right now, and I will find you, and I will, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, what do you do about those teachers? They, they have the IEP, they should be following the IEP, it's obviously in the IEP, and yet, no, I don't want to. Now you could like, you know, pull out all the guns, hire an advocate, get a lawyer and basically, you know, metaphorically put a gun to their head and go, you will. But I want you to remember something. Resistance always causes more resistance. And you don't want to engage in that route if you don't have to. My favorite approach is to level with them and say, you know what, you're right. And you validate their feelings, you validate what's going on, you say, you're right, this is a problem. My kid has been misbehaving. My kid has been doing this. It is interrupting your class. It is frustrating to you, I get it. You know what would help them interrupt your class less? You know what would help them be more of a model student, even though I don't really believe in such a thing? Would be to do the things that are in their IEP. But you don't say, say it like that, you know, it would be to, let's say their IEP is get home, longer home, uh, homework time and, uh, be able to type stuff. You know, if they were just able to type stuff, they would be a lot calmer. If you help the teacher understand it from a perspective of they're doing this so that they can help themselves, so the teacher can help themselves, so that they have a less stressful classroom experience, rather than my kid needs special needs and he has an IEP and you need to help him because it says so on the IEP, not because I'm validating your feelings, then it's a complete paradigm shift. Now, obviously in a perfect world, they care about your kid and you don't need to do this, but if you do need to do this, have the teacher realize how it's beneficial to themselves to help your child in whatever way you need to be helped, whatever way they need to be helped. Once you do that, the teacher is gonna be more on board. Now, if they aren't on board, then you bring out the big guns and you get an advocate and you make sure that they follow the IEP because legally they have to. But that's the last resort. Until then, you work with them. Essentially what you're doing is you're getting the teacher out of defense mode. If you've seen some of our, our other stuff, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, if you're, and if you're on our website, AspergerExperts.com, just go ahead and scroll down. You can register for a webinar about defense mode, learn more about it, join our email list, all that good stuff. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I really, truly do appreciate you. You are amazing, you are capable. I believe in you. Remember that your track record of handling days so far is 100%, so whenever you say, I can't handle it, yes you can, because you already have every single other day of your life. You've gotten through it somehow. So think about that, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.